Okay, tonight we have a beer coming to us from Long Trail. Again, Bridgewater Corners, Vermont. This is uh, Limbo IPA, uh, which I believe is kind of a brand new um, take on their double IPA from Long Trail. Comes into us at 7.6%, so it's right on that, like, a little bit higher cusp uh, between a regular IPA and a, and a double. Um, gets a very good, gets a very good rating on Beer Advocate. A 92 on Beer Advocate gets a 96 on Rate Beer, so pretty high on the echelon there. Um, and it boasts flavors and aromas of the new breed of hops coming from Australia and the Pacific Northwest. Uh, <clears throat> first year round Long Trail offering out of the new Farmhouse um, Pilot Brewery. Farmhouse Pirate Pilot, so it's the first year round Long Trail offering out of this new brewery they have. Uh, and it's named after a customer's email, which is kind of interesting. Uh, in the uh, description, it says a big mouth-watering IPA brimming with all the flavors and aromas of the new breed of hops coming out of the Australia, of Australia and the Pacific Northwest, as I mentioned. Um, other than that, very interesting, uh, <clears throat> very interesting. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, label. You got a red tree and like a skeletal humanoid kind of <clears throat> sitting at the base of this tree, with the logo uh, LT Long Trail, I suppose. So Limbo IPA. Let's uh, see what we got here. It's a pretty highly rated Deepa, as they say. We'll pour into this tulip glass. And as we do, we see a very dark pour. <clears throat> Amber colored, as you can see. Um, nice head on this beer, actually. Got about a, about a finger uh, of head. Um, very cloudy, murky kind of look to it. Can't really see much through it. Uh, aroma. A very strong hoppy aroma to this beer. With a little bit of the dank grapefruit. Not too piney, um, but a darker kind of citrus uh, smell to it. More along the lines of your East Coast double IPA, but a, a very strong, uh, uh, healthy smell to it. So let's get the taste now of Long Trail Limbo IPA. Hmm. Wow. A lot of stuff going on here. Um, at the front, I'm getting a, a almost a mango-y grapefruit kind of mixture. So it's kind of uh, West Coast-y. But I'm getting kind of a harsh alcohol bite in the in the back of the back of the tongue, a little bit, and like a harsh hoppiness um, as well. But a very full beer, very very different kind of tasting double IPA, if you ask me. Very fresh tasting. I really, really like this one. 7.6% um, is, as I mentioned, a little bit on the cusp of IPA to double IPA, but not quite um, not quite to the uh, double I or quite to the, um, I guess, level where you would just say it's got to be just an IPA. Good taste to it, though. I'm going to go ahead and give Long Trail Limbo a uh, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the only thing that I could kind of give it a little bit off of is just a, a little bit too much of a harsh alcohol bite to it um, after the uh, initial taste of the grapefruit and the, and the mango. Um, the, the alcohol bite is a little too harsh for 7.6% ABV. They could have probably softened that up a little bit. But other than that, a really good effort and really a, a nice, crisp, refreshing taste. Um, for this uh, first year-round Long Trail offering out of their new Farmhouse Pilot Brewery. So there you have it. 9.5 out of 10 for Long Trail Limbo IPA. Thanks.